What is up people? In this video we're talking about shoe rotation. Hey guys, what's up? And uh, welcome back to 40 Runs. How are we all doing? Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, this is the most important question of the video. What is your shoe rotation? Let me know in the comments. Do you have just one shoe? What is that shoe? Let me know if you have 20 shoes in your rotation. List them and I will dive down there once this video drops. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about, quickly, what is shoe rotation, why it's a good idea. Then we're gonna talk about uh, the sort of shoes that you can have in your rotation. Then I'm gonna sort of pull out my favorites on my current shoe rotation. Okay, so for you guys who don't know what shoe rotation is, uh, it's basically, it's just a number of shoes that you have. Um, the idea is, is that you have a couple of shoes, depending on where you're at in terms of what you're training for, what you're doing. You have a couple of shoes to sort of mix it up because it's, they say it's a good thing to have one or two pairs of shoes to sort of alternate between. Uh, there's a couple of things, that, uh, and I don't know how much of this is scientifically proven or not, let me know in the comments, I'm sure someone will. Um, but they say in some respects that, you know, it can take up to 48 hours for a shoe's foam uh, uh, to, uh, and everything else in it to rebound. I don't know if that's true. Uh, they also say um, not running in the same shoe every day can help prevent injury. And now I've, I've seen that in a couple of places. So it's a good idea if you can to get a couple of shoes. And it's also a good idea if you're um, like training for something specific or you're taking your running to the next level, it may be an idea that you pick a, a couple of shoes or you add to your shoe collection uh, and you find shoes for specific jobs. Now we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, so that's kind of what shoe rotation is. Um, obviously, <laughs> I'm very lucky. We get sent a lot of shoes, I get loaned a lot of shoes, uh, and I buy a lot of shoes um, on this uh, YouTube channel of ours. Uh, one, because I love shoes. Um, and two, I'm just in a very privileged position. Um, so I have a lot of shoes uh, in my rotation, but there are a few sort of favorites, I would say, and I'm gonna talk about them at the end of the video to give you a sort of rough idea of my sort of favorite rotation at the moment. But right, let's get into uh, the sort of shoes um, that you may want to put into your rotation. Okay, people, so let's just keep it real. On 40 runs, we like to keep it real. You really only need one pair of shoes. If you're just going out running because you wanna you know, help your mental health and all that sort of stuff, you only need one pair of shoes. And you can go down to your local store, Sport Direct, whatever, and pick up a pair of running shoes for like, 45, 50 quid, job done, right? You're sorted, you're out there running, you're helping your mental health well, uh, wellness, you're getting fit, you're getting healthy, you're winning, okay? So you don't need to go nuts and have 20 pairs of shoes in your rotation like I do. Actually, I don't even think it's 20 pairs, it might have been more slightly worrying. Don't tell me, this is 40. Hopefully she doesn't watch this video. In fact, I know she doesn't watch this video. Why doesn't she watch my videos? Anyway, totally digressed. Um, so yeah, your shoe, you don't need that, right? But let's say you start wanting to take your running to a different direction, right? So ideally, you have your daily trainer. Uh, what's a good example of a daily trainer? Well, look, the Nike Pegasus. This is an old Nike Pegasus. And for you guys who are asking about this shoe, because it's in the museum now, um, this is the pair of shoes that I ran the London Marathon and they're personalized. I've got my daughter's uh, birth dates on them. And they're a personalized pair of shoes. But this is a Nike Pegasus and it's a great daily trainer. But don't buy the Pegasus 37, it's not a great daily trainer. Um, and you're looking for a shoe that can be versatile, can do everything. So in a daily trainer, you want something that's probably, well, it depends on how you feel, but it's got a bit of grip on it. Let's get, let's stay there, I'm gonna get a shoe. Actually, let's, that's a bad example. Let's get a good example of a daily trainer. So the Puma Velocity Nitro, uh, this shoe weigh, uh, weighs, is costs under 100 pounds. Uh, it's got plenty of grip on the outsole, dirty as you can see, so it's been used <laughs> down the canal and toe pass. It's got a, a breathable upper, um, it feels very comfortable. It's got a midsole compound in it that is, you know, super absorbent and bouncy and, and it can make you feel awesome. And it can do one mile, 13 miles, whatever you want to do in it. And it can do that very fast and very slow. Daily trainer. It's also very comfortable in the heel area. You want a daily trainer that's comfortable. So you want to find a shoe for your daily trainer that ticks all your boxes. You want to make sure really that you get your gait analyzed as well, people. That's another video, but get your gait analyzed if you're looking to step it up. So my recommendation for you is, is number one shoe in your rotation is to get yourself a decent daily trainer, which can do 
everything. Now, I think the next step in terms of a rotation, what you probably want to add in, is something for those longer runs. It's really important because if you're going taking your running in a different direction, maybe you've signed up for your first half marathon or something like that, you go on a shoe that can start eating up long runs because in that training process, you want to focus on that long run. So you want to get yourself a long run shoe. Glide ride people. We've got the glide ride two in the video. Um, so yeah, you want a long run shoe. You want something that's gonna be comfortable over the longer miles, um, maybe a slightly higher stack on it um, in terms of the height here. So there's probably a little bit more foam in there, a little bit more cushion, and it's just super comfortable to run easy pace and you can just eat miles. So if you're looking to add to your rotation, I think the first shoe that you would add after um, your sort of daily trainer is your long run shoe. You could argue that you should actually put in a racing shoe instead of a long run shoe. But my thought process is that you need to train before you go for your races. That's how I would look at it personally. I think you come onto that probably next. Um, but yeah, you need your long run shoe. And, and I say the ASICS um, uh, Glide Ride 2 is a perfect example of a medium to long distance shoe. It can do uh, those longer distances. You can pick up the pace in it if you're looking to start adding paces in and all that sort of stuff. We won't get into that today. This can also do it as well. So if you're then looking to build out your rotation, uh, like I said a second ago, maybe, so you've got your daily trainer, do everything in it, long run shoe, super comfortable, eat up miles, then you're probably looking at putting something into your rotation for your race days. And I'm looking up here, oh, not the camera, but we've got the Endorphin Pro from Saucony. So carbon plate tube, maybe you want a carbon plate tube. But I would probably add to your rotation next a race shoe. So you want something super light, uh, probably a carbon plate to give you that sort of snap on race day. Some sort of hyper uh, engineered uh, performance foam in it, like this has got in it. Um, this has got an upper that's basically not there, so it's majorly breathable and light. So also got to be comfortable, people. Remember, you're going to be in this shoe and you're going to be gunning it. So you want something comfortable. Now you can wear your long run shoe on race day. There's nothing to stop you. There's nothing to stop you wearing your daily trainer on race day. I've ran a marathon in the glide ride, for example. That was my long run shoe, and I took it and then went and ran a marathon in it. So you don't need one of these, but we're talking about adding shoes into your rotation today. So for me, once you've then gone into your long run arena, I would then look to add a... Um, Racing shoe. Now again, racing shoe, just to complicate things a little bit more, can be dependent on what sort of distance you've signed up for. If you've signed up to do park runs, so you've gone catch the 5K, you could probably comfortably um, do you know that in your daily training, but maybe you wanna start smashing up the 5K, so you probably want something that's a little bit more like a racing flat. So this is more of a marathon shoe, so more of a, stay there. I should have probably put these all here. Right, so more of a racing flat. Good example, people, good example, the Skechers Razor Elite. Got a carbon plate in it, but more of a racing flat sort of feel to the shoe. It's just literally a bit of foam and a carbon plate and off you go and run fast. See where I'm going? If you want then go on and go 10K, maybe you go for the Meta Racer, old type. Meta Racer, my favorite 10K shoe. And then half marathon or something like that, you probably go uh, for the next percent. Okay, so. There's racing shoes out there, all have different purposes. Oh man, I didn't realize this was gonna be this complicated. So once you've got that sorted, so we've got daily trainer in there in your rotation. Um, you've got your longer run, medium distance run, glide ride two, make sure you buy the glide run. Then you've got your racing shoes, whatever it be, marathon shoe, half marathon shoe. Well, I just love that shoe. Um, you may then wanna add in <laughs> a um, sort of, now you go two ways, actually, two ways. You can either go recovery runs, easy runs, or you can go speed session, tempo sessions. Up to you. Now, I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's go recovery uh, or easy pace runs. Where are they? Oh, to it. So for me, easy days, Gel Nimbus Light is a great example. Very soft foam. I lazy pronate, so there's a decent wide platform in there, and it's just really effortless. Great example of a recovery run shoe, but some people like in their recovery run shoes, a lot of stack, um, so that's another way you could go. 
super high stack shoe just to eat miles up uh, and make it effortless. You're like literally just running on clouds. Uh, but for me, I like the gel nimbus light too. Uh, it's just, I just really like it. Uh, but like I said, you could then go for like a tempo shoe, uh, go the other way and add into your rotation. So something more designed for those speedier sessions. Um, the good example for that, and these are very dirty, are a, uh, the speed endorphin speed so this is more of a training and competition shoe from Saucony it's one of the best shoes if not the best shoe still out there I believe now this has got a TPU plate in it uh, and you've got that combined with again a very explosive uh, midsole compound but this is a great shoe at doing sort of speed working I absolutely love this shoe for doing my speed work um, but I'm sort of go between this and the Razor Elite which I showed you earlier but for me um, this is a great combination of I can start off easy and then get into my run um, where the Razor Elite is literally if I want to do an interval session I stick that on but this you know you can do those tempo those lactate threshold runs you can do those progressive runs heel sprints that sort of stuff this shoe is there for me so that would probably be the sort of next place um, I would go in terms of your shoe rotation adding on that sort of yeah either that recovery run shoe up to you uh, if you're marathon training then maybe that's probably a better idea because you know you want to look after yourself especially in those recovery runs those easy runs um, and then you know you've got your sort of your speed session shoes but you could use your race shoes for the speed sessions as well so there's, I think that's probably the sort of mainstay of a shoe rotation. Um, you can obviously add in, <laughs> I've done it again, look, you know, your trail shoes. Don't forget to, uh, you know, your trail shoes. Don't neglect the trails, people. If you're like me, you're, you know, live in a residential area, don't neglect trails. They're awesome way of uh, sort of almost cross training, you know what I mean? You're using your muscles in a different way, but get yourself a decent pair of trail shoes. And you might just want to stick a pair of shoes in that you just like. Um, for example, for me, I just like, you know, the DV8 Nitro. I just like going in it and running it. And we'll come on to my rotation in a sec. So I think, I'm just looking around the shoes, I think that's the sort of way that I would build up a rotation. That's the sort of, sort of way I would add to it. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments, uh, have I missed any out? But yeah, that's the sort of, hopefully that helps in terms of building out your shoe rotation. Okay, so my current, or yeah, current shoe rotation, it's what, March 2021. Um, in terms of daily trainers, now I'm gonna be on and off again, I'm, I should have put them here on the desk, but um, it's probably uh, my two sort of go-to daily trainers at the moment are the Hoka um, Mark IV and the Gel Nimbus Lite, I'm not gonna pick that up because you've seen it already, are the Gel Nimbus Lite II. Um, they're my sort of go-to daily trainers at the moment. The Velocity from Puma, I've also been running in. And don't forget people, um, I'm obviously trying shoes all the time, okay? Uh, so <laughs> it's, these are sort of my favorites when I'm not trying to put a shoe through a rotation in which I'm testing it, okay? So uh, just put that caveat out there. But yeah, in terms of daily trainers, I mean, I'm a huge still fan of the, the Socrates Rye 13. Uh, I'm still putting uh, them on occasionally. Um, and, you know, if I'm looking to do some sort of faster work in those daily training uh, sessions, then I will go to the, is that a shot, I think, but the Razor 3 Plus. Then that sort of um, uh, medium to sort of long run shoes. Now I, I sort of, because again, I've got a million shoes. I, I kind of have two windows here. I have sort of um, like the easy shoes. So like the Glide Ride 2, perfect example um, of those sort of long run, those long easy miles. But then I have a sort of, if I'm looking to run a, a pace, then I'll go for my endorphin speeds. That's where I'm currently sitting between the two. Um, I don't think there's really, a favorite at the moment um, other than those two. So it's like Socony Endorphin Speed for training, but longer, medium, longer distance, but at pace. Easy, medium, longer distance at pace is the Glide Ride 2. Recovery runs, I forgot to mention recovery runs. I'm actually, uh, on those easy miles, I'm in my Skechers Go Run 8s. Um, I'm spending a lot of time in them. It's just easy just to slip on, go out the door and run in those. Um, yeah, the Go Run 8s for me is like, it's like a bit of a recovery show. And then you've got the sort of speedier sessions. I mentioned it earlier. They've got the, I'll get them again because I just like looking at them. Uh, you've got the Razor Elite. Uh, for me, uh, those speedier sessions, I love sticking this on and just going out and doing, but my dedicated speed work is in them. I do like um, 
these still, uh, and I mentioned the Socking Endorphin Speed as well, but I do like doing um, speedy sessions. Now, this is not a light shoe, um, but I just like the midsole, the feeling I get off the midsole on the plate. I do like um, wearing them. And even the Hoka, to be honest with you, the Mac 4. Again, my shoes kind of cross-pollinate, to be honest. Um, the Mac 4, I've been doing tempo working as well. But out and out speed sessions, Razor 3 for me, um, the Razor Elite, it's just a maniac. Uh, trails, uh, I told you, uh, I showed you, sorry, the A6 Trabuco Max. Uh, that's my current sort of go-to trail shoe. Uh, I've still got my Pegasus Trail 2 GTX Pegasus Trail to the normal one, the non-GTX, which I've been running down the canal tow paths if it's been mucky. Um, and I'll probably look to replace those uh, in the summer as well. So I'm just standing on something, I don't know what it is. Um, in terms of race day, uh, now this is an area, and actually, the, and this is an interesting point, um, in terms of areas that I want to tweak, uh, my recovery run shoes, I've got my eye on the um, New Balance uh, Fresh Foam V3, the, the more free V3, whatever it's called. Uh, loads of stack, but Fresh Foam in there. Um, but in terms of racing and stuff like that, that's what I want to say, because this is probably going to change, because um, we've got some shoes incoming. But at the moment, my sort of standard marathon shoe is here. Sort of half marathon shoe is either this, or the Endorphin uh, Pro. Um, if you've not seen the video, watch it. I did a uh, half marathon uh, recently, uh, 139, uh, 138 actually, uh, and change in the Endorphin Pro. Um, so that's my sort of half marathon shoe, one of those two. But at the moment, um, this is sort of the preference. But again, these are going to be changing. Um, Anything other than that? Yeah, 5K part run, I'd pro I would use the Razor Elite um, in the part run. And yeah, that's probably about it in terms of racing shoes. So yeah, they're the sort of best uh, sort of uh, hits of, of my um, current rotation. Uh, there are obviously other shoes that I stick on um, every now and then. Uh, but I, like I said to you, I'm mixing stuff up because we've got shoes incoming all the time. I'm really lucky. And we're trying out shoes regularly. But they're the sort of go-to shoes I would say at the moment they're the sort of favorite shoes that I'm picking at the moment I, you know I'm just looking I've just got got the shoes everywhere Mrs Ford goes mad but we have got literally shoes everywhere but yeah they're the sort of uh, yeah top picks at the moment for my rotation right guys so there you go that's it hopefully that's useful we've got a visitor hang on all right mate all right he wants to be on YouTube here he is look the Meister's back um you're right mate <laughs> I don't know. he's just coming to the studio <laughs> Right, sorry for the buddy interruption. Right, but anyway, yeah, I thought that'd be useful. Uh, I don't know what it was. Uh, but more importantly than anything else, let me know your current shoe rotation. And how about this? Money, no object um, shoe rotation. If I said to you, look, here's, here's a grand, go and sort yourself out. Uh, probably too much, but yeah, here's a grand, go and sort, sort yourself out. What shoes would you put into your rotation? Would it be like, I don't know, six pairs of Alpha Flies or, or four pairs of vaporflies what would you do money no object people let me know in the comments and i'll dive down there once this video drops but that's it from me i wish you a fond farewell i'll catch you guys later